G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a scary looking grade 10 problem. It goes as follows. Let k equal 2008 squared plus 2 to the 2008. All right, I guess this problem is written for the year 2008. And the question is, what is the units digit of k squared plus 2 to the k? Hang on, hang on. k is 2008 squared plus 2 to the 2008, so it's, it's a ghastly number. But that's not the question. The question is about that ghastly number squared plus 2 to that ghastly number. Actually, I've got to write this out. k, k, what's k? k is 2000, see, obviously I'm having trouble processing this question. 2008 squared, 2 to the 2008. But I want to take that guy and square it. So here's this guy again. For some, for some reason I assume this guy's male. That squared plus 2 to that number again. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, superscript and superscript. That's the actual number we're dealing with. And what's the question? What is the units digit of that? k squared plus 2 to the k. To which I go, gulp. I have to, this is just looks overwhelming. All right, when something is completely overwhelming and I don't have a clue what to do, strategy number two comes to mind, which is do something. Doesn't matter what it is, just do something. Maybe kind of relevant to the problem, but let's do something relevant to this. We want the units digit, we want the last digit. Can I at least work out the last digit of something in this expression? And I'll choose something easy, like this part of it, 2008. Do I know the last digit of 2008? You bet, it's an eight. Okay, I can do that. Um, all right, what about this part, 2008 squared? Do I know the last digit of that? That last, I'll make that one female. Um, I guess when it's squared, something that ends in an eight, that squared is gonna end in basically 64. There might be carrying going on, but I bet that ends in a four. So that guy's ends in a four. Um, all right, that, that's part, then I've got two to this. So I've got a power of two. Uh, well, I'm just doing something. Can I actually work out the last digits of powers of two? So what do the powers of two look like? There are one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, was it 256, uh, 512, 1024, round of room, so I'll stop. Um, last digits, two, four, eight, six, two, four, eight, six, two, four, eight, six, two, four, ah, when I double that one, I guess it ends in an eight. I'm seeing a pattern. Right, so two to the one ends in a two, but so does two to the fifth, and da, 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 this guy, two to the ninth, and so on. So guess, ah, one, five, nine. Every fourth one after two to the one is gonna end in a two. Two squared and two to the, uh, one, two, three, six, yes, two to the six, two to the tenth, all end in a four. Aha, I'm seeing something. Two cubed ends in an eight. 2 to the 7th ends in an 8, yes, they all end in an 8, and 2 to the, what was it, 2 to the 4th is next, and 2 to the 4, 16, oh, sorry, 2 to the um, 8, yes, all the power, all the multiples of 4, 2 to the, sorry, 2 to the multiples of 4, and in a 6. Oh, 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 2 to the multiples of 4 all end in a 6, and this one here is 2 to the 2008, that's a multiple of 4, that's going to end in a 6. I'm getting there. This piece ends in a, what do we say? 2008 ends in a four. This piece ends in a six. So this part in the parentheses ends with a four plus a six. Uh, something ending in a four plus a six. It's basically ending with a 10, but this is only keep out the last digit. This piece ends in a zero. I'm getting somewhere. All right, I feel this problem has hope to it now. It, my board looks like a mess. This is all scratch work. Thank goodness no one's reading it. This is just my own personal scratchy stuff going on but I feel like I have an approach. I've got the last digit of this piece, I bet if I square it I can do it, and I guess this is just another power of two, so maybe this reasoning will work out there as well. So see if you can work out the last digit of this beastly, ghastly looking thing. I bet you can do it. And when you get an answer, check your answer with my answer that's in the essay that goes with this video. And I've got some other thoughts about this question too that are fun to read. All right, thanks very much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.